Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I join you from the front entrance to our church on this fifth Sunday of Easter and hoping next Sunday will be our first drive-in worship service at 8.30 in the morning with those attending remaining in cars in our parking lot surrounding the Scout Hut lawn. But this morning, we continue sharing our announcements with joys and concerns in a video separate from the Sunday morning sermon. Family Promise continues to use our Ford House Next Door exclusively for housing families, and congregational emails with our Zoom schedule continue regularly with scheduled events for children and youth, as well as adult groups. And once again, thank you to our entire congregation for your ongoing financial gifts to the church, as well as special donations to our weekday school, either online or through the postal service. The grab-and-go area off the church's main entrance circle drive continues to display prayer sheets of joys and concerns, completed face mask orders for those requesting them from our sewing ministry team, current copies of devotional books, as well as a seashell full of jigsaw puzzles for children of our resurrection stained glass window in the sanctuary. And the container beside the outdoor BCO wagon at the main exterior entrance to the church office has been set aside for your donations of drop-off hygiene items and other basic supplies for children and families in great need through our public schools. And a week from this coming Tuesday, on May 19th, we look forward to hosting a One Blood Community Blood Drive from 2 to 6 p.m at the church. Please notice the rosebuds which announced the births of Billy Gay Dixon on April 30th to Jimmy and Allison Dixon and granddaughter to Earl and Trudy Dixon and big sister Olivia, as well as Eleanor Lillian Wood Gibbons on May 1st to Jeff and Kelsey Gibbons and big brother Charlie. We welcome these newborn children into the life of our church family. This morning, we remember all of those in need of special prayers. The family of Evelyn Cameron, Martha Jane Ryan's mother, upon Evelyn's death on April 15th. Lynn Jenkins and all her family in the death of Lynn's husband, Bill Jenkins. And Libba Steele, our oldest church member in hospice care at Covenant Village. Those home from the hospital are facing medical procedures in the coming weeks. Allison Banson, Mary Benton, Kim Biggs, Clara Blaylock, Catherine Boyder and Ashley Bruce, Jack Crane and Beth Dalton, Jimmy Dixon, Trudy Dixon, Carter Frady, Tony Frame, Ray Grant, Gary Hedrick, Bob Nauheimer, Kenny Nixon, Michaela Owen, Lily Reagan, and Lynette Stallings. With Jimmy Dixon facing major surgery this Tuesday at New Hanover Regional Medical Center in Wilmington, and Lynn Jenkins undergoing outpatient surgery Wednesday at Caramont Regional Medical Center in Gastonia. Those in the hospital, Sally Mann, Carolyn Knox's sister at Caramont in Gastonia, Jeff Glantz, my high school classmate at Duke University Medical Center in Durham, and Carolyn Talbert, Karen Neal's sister in Atlanta. And we are always mindful of those connected to our church in public safety. Alan Buchanan, Will Gulledge, Tom Hall, and Brian Huffstickler, as well as those active in military service. Graham Auten, Javin and Alan Head, Taylor Ryan Brown, Brady Johnson, Conrad Kaufman, Rob Lane, Tyler Lemons, Rick Long, Patrick Sachs, Brandon Shorter, and Francis Ann Spivey. My friends, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. 